This video is for educational purposes only. Do not attempt any procedure shown. Always seek advice from a qualified healthcare professional. So this is Marie. She presents with obviously another inflamed cyst, which you can tell has now gotten infected again. Um, so how long has this cyst been there as a whole, would you say? Um, I would say um, about 20, Five years, maybe? 25. And when, when did it start getting infected? How long now? Oh, two weeks. Two weeks. So, okay? Mm-hmm. And I oftentimes find with residents there's fear that you're going to go right into the spine, but you actually have a lot of tissue here, and that's really not a realistic. So you start to see there the pressure's coming up. So I'd still check. Does that hurt at all? No real pain there. Not too bad. So now we're going to size into it. So again, this is number 11 blade. And you have to be careful. Again, residents are oftentimes right over top of this. And if you are, you can splash yourself. You're okay? Mm -hmm. So you notice with the blade, I start to use an angled approach. So I use the blade to break down some basic adhesions. And I can't stress enough, you should have lots of four by four around. So I start to see some pressure. And you try and find a balance between putting a little bit of pressure so you can get this to drain without causing a big mess. And this one's a big one, so it's a balance between pressure and you okay? Mm-hmm. So you can see how it's thicker now. So the more superficial infected material is coming up and you're getting down to the, the deeper stuff. And remember, this is just a soft keratin, so it's almost similar to cartilage tissue. Not having too much discomfort with that? Not too bad, no. So with this one, so we talked about whether a cyst is loculated. I want to use the number 11 blade just to explore I can feel that right ways. there, but... Yeah, you'll feel some pressure. Okay. And then I use curved Kelly's, which is this instrument here. But I want to be gentle with it because, again, remember, the patient can't have perfect anesthesia with this. So you certainly want to break down some adhesions, but there is a balance. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you can see how the swelling's coming down already. It's not nearly so swollen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now the other option you have too is sometimes you can choose to irrigate some of these. I used to do a lot more irrigation in the past. The problem I found with that is the thicker material doesn't come out very well. And instead you really do splash the patient with a lot of really purulent and foul smelling fine liquid and she really doesn't appreciate that. <laughs> Trust me, you don't appreciate that. <laughs> And the other part too with this is because we're going to be packing this, and there is an option there as well because there are some studies, the newer studies that are showing packing really doesn't help healing time any time at all. But uh, I tend to always use it still only because I find a lot of these will sometimes still ooze a lot. And from a purely hemostasis perspective, I like to have the packing in. That'll just be for like half a week or so. And the other advantage it creates too is this issue of irrigating it out and getting every last bit out when you're going to be removing the packing, a lot of times if this is more loculated, those loculated chambers will break down and when you replace the packing in a day or so, those will collapse completely and drain then. So still doing okay? Mm -hmm. And you can see we're down now to much less coming out. So now we're at a point we're just going to pack this.
So this is just sterile gauze that we use. And as I said before, on the first packing, you want to use a fair amount because you're just hoping to stop bleeding. And then on the subsequent days, we just use a little bit less. And this should heal nicely for her. And so certainly over the next couple days, try and keep this dry if you can. Mm -hmm. and this is a note to all residents. You'll find the biggest risk of infection usually becomes one of exposure to water. So if your patients are taking baths or taking showers, no matter how nice your technique was when you were doing the procedure, those are the ones that will typically tend to get infected. And you can see this will take a fair amount of the packing. That's not too uncomfortable, Marie? No. That should be enough there. And then I'll clip this and put a dressing on it, and she's all done. This video is for educational purposes only. Do not attempt any procedure shown. Always seek advice from a qualified healthcare professional.